Welcome to the Early Childhood Data System Submission Guidance Webinar for the 24-25 school year. Throughout this webinar, we will be providing an overview of the ECDS submission requirements and any best practices to help your LEA through the process. More specifically, during this webinar, we will be reviewing an overview of the Early Childhood Data System and going into specifics regarding the data that will be submitted to the system for kindergarten programs, public pre-kindergarten programs, any additional high quality pre-kindergarten components. We will discuss extensions for submission of early childhood data systems and provide you with support opportunities. The Early Childhood Data System, or ECDS, is a feature within the broader Texas Student Data System platform. It enables state reporting by collecting a variety of data on pre-kindergarten and kindergarten students. Submission of this data through ECDS is mandatory for all school districts in open enrollment charter schools, otherwise known as local educational agencies or LEAs. This data provides valuable insights into early childhood education in Texas and is used to inform statewide decisions. ECDS Data Reporting Best Practices for Data Collection recommend beginning the process of validating data shortly after the submission window opens. When data is validated and submitted in a timely manner, LEAs avoid the challenges associated with rushed data submissions. The following guidance for both pre-kindergarten and kindergarten should be taken into consideration as a part of these best practices. As you prepare for submission, it is important to ensure that all staff that are involved in collecting data and submitting data have connected and have a plan in place. The first step is to identify personnel that has the needed data for the submission. Next, identify who is responsible for submitting the data into ECDS. It is important that you all collaborate to gather the data that is needed. Last, ensure that ECDS users have access to the TEA login or TEAL and have applied for all necessary roles needed to submit this data. Now we will review the specific requirements for kindergarten data submission. Reporting of kindergarten data is mandatory for all local educational agencies. All local educational agencies must submit beginning of year reading instrument data using one of the two commissioner approved instruments. These are either Texas Kia by CLI or M-Class Texas by Amplify. Details on the data collection process are available on the TEA Early Childhood Data Collection Requirements webpage. Data that is required to be submitted for kindergarten programs includes data that is extracted from the student information system. This data includes demographic information, special program information, and course section information on students enrolled in LEA kindergarten classes. Reading instrument data is also required to be submitted by LEAs, which allows for the determination of kindergarten readiness scores. This data will come directly from the vendors to the state. After reading instrument data is uploaded in ECDS, LEAs will still need to go in and validate that the data is accurate and resolve any errors. On the screen, you can see the timeline for kindergarten data submission to ECDS. It is best practice and a TEA recommendation that within the first 60 days of school, the beginning of year kindergarten reading instrument is administered to all kindergarten students. Then the ECDS submission window will open by November of 2024 to allow for LEAs and vendors to upload kindergarten data. The vendors will establish the frequency of submission and LEAs are highly recommended to begin submitting data early. The window will close for kindergarten data submissions on January 30th, 2025. LEAs must validate their student, staff, course section and assessment data as well as resolve any special warnings and fatal errors in order to complete the submission. Next, we'll cover the public pre-kindergarten data requirements. Before reviewing the specific data components that will be required for pre-kindergarten data submission, here is our timeline. Please note that the ECDS submission will tentatively open in November of 2024. 
it is incredibly important to remember that the ECDS submission window will close on June 26, 2025. By this time, LEAs must validate their student, staff, course section data, as well as their beginning of year and end of year assessment data in order to complete their submissions. They will be required to resolve any special warnings or fatal errors before completion. The reporting of pre-kindergarten program data is mandatory for all LEAs that administer a pre-kindergarten program. This includes programs for three and four-year-old students. The program data that is collected includes demographic information, special program information, sources of funding for pre-kindergarten classes, the pre-kindergarten school type code, the child care operation number, and the course section data needed to determine the number of students enrolled in LEA pre-K classes, including the number of children who are eligible for free pre-kindergarten, the number of half-day and full-day pre-kindergarten classes offered by the LEA and the campus, and class size. Now, let's review some additional high-quality pre-kindergarten program requirements that must be reported to ECDS for all pre-kindergarten programs serving eligible four-year-old students. Here is a brief overview of the five high-quality pre-kindergarten annual reporting requirements for all pre-kindergarten programs serving eligible four-year-old students. These components include a family engagement plan, teacher qualification data, program evaluation data, student progress monitoring data, and curriculum. Let's start by digging into the curriculum component. This is where the LEA will report the curricula that is used in the district's pre-kindergarten program serving eligible four-year-old students. Here's the pre-K curricula descriptor table. Curriculum is reported at the section or classroom level. For each section, a curriculum descriptor must be entered. Curricula that are on the SBOE instructional materials list have their own code as you can see here. If a curricula is being used that is not on this list, the appropriate code to use would be Descriptor 99 for Other. The requirement for curriculum to align with the current Texas pre-kindergarten guideline still applies to any curriculum that is reported as Other. It is highly recommended that LEAs keep documentation on file to confirm alignment with the Texas pre-kindergarten guidelines when reporting the Descriptor 99. Here are some frequently asked questions regarding the curriculum descriptor. Question, how do we report classrooms that use both the English and Spanish curriculum? The answer is that only one curricula descriptor can be selected per section. Choose the curriculum that is most used in that classroom. Question, how do we report our curriculum if it is not listed in the descriptor table? Answer, descriptor 99 other should be used for any curriculum that is not listed in the descriptor table. Question. If we use a curriculum that is not on the SBOE instructional materials list, do we need to provide documentation of alignment to the Texas pre-kindergarten guidelines? The answer is yes. It is recommended that you keep documentation on file that demonstrates alignment to the Texas pre-kindergarten guidelines. Documentation is not submitted to the TEA. The next component we will review for high quality pre-kindergarten requirements is program evaluation. This is where an LEA should select and implement appropriate methods for evaluating the district or charter's high quality pre-kindergarten program. Here's the descriptor table that will be used for reporting program evaluation. Please note that program evaluation is reported at the LEA level. Use Descriptor 99 for program evaluations other than the TEA self-assessment tool. Here are some program evaluation frequently asked questions. Does completing the online version of the TEA self-assessment submit the data to ECDS? The answer is no. The online version does not submit information in TSDS to the ECDS pre-kindergarten submission. The appropriate code must still be submitted in the ECDS pre-K submission to report what kind of tool was used. Question, do all of our campuses have to complete a program evaluation? 
No, the program evaluation is an evaluation of the LEA's overall pre-kindergarten program. Only one program evaluation is necessary to meet these requirements. Another component is the additional teacher qualifications. This is where the LEA is required that each teacher of record for a pre-kindergarten class serving eligible four-year-old students must be appropriately certified and have an additional qualification. Here is the descriptor table for additional teacher qualifications for those teachers that are in a local educational agency provided classroom. A descriptor should be used for each pre-kindergarten teacher. It should be noted that Descriptor 3 should be used for teachers who have either completed the 150 hours of professional development with 75 of those in a coaching relationship or teachers who are completing the professional development or coaching hours annually. Here's the descriptor table for those teacher qualifications for pre-kindergarten teachers that are in a contracted pre-kindergarten classroom. Each teacher for a pre-kindergarten class that is provided by an entity with which a school district contracts to provide a pre-kindergarten program must be supervised by a person who meets the requirements under the Texas Education Code Section 29167B-1. Additional resources can be found on our high-quality pre-kindergarten pages for teacher qualifications. A frequently asked question for pre-kindergarten teacher requirements or qualifications is, I have a teacher completing professional development hours over the summer. Can those hours count or do the hours have to be completed by the last day of school? The answer to that is that yes, professional development hours taken in the summer can count towards the current school year up until the LEA submits the data. The LEA has local decision on the deadline for professional development completion. Now let's review the Family Engagement Plan component. This is where LEAs are required to develop, implement, and make available a Family Engagement Plan. Here's the descriptor for the Pre-Kindergarten Family Engagement Plan link. Please note that there is no descriptor to be selected for the element, so there is no descriptor table. Instead, it is an open field where LEAs are required to provide the link on the website page where their high quality pre-kindergarten family engagement plan is located. Please note that this field is limited to 200 characters Here's additional information for the family engagement plan link. A link is considered valid if the link goes to a web page where the Family Engagement Plan document is located or can be downloaded, if the link goes to a high-quality pre-kindergarten Family Engagement Plan web page, or if the link goes directly to the high-quality pre-kindergarten Family Engagement Plan document. The link would be considered invalid if the link goes to a main district web page, goes to an outdated plan, or is broken. Please remember that plans must be updated annually and be made available on the LEA's website by November 1st of each school year. Here's some frequently asked questions regarding the family engagement component. Question, can our Title I family engagement plan count for this plan? The answer is yes, if all the required high quality pre-kindergarten family engagement plan components are included in the Title I family engagement plan. If that's the case, then it can count. This also applies to LEAs who have a Head Start family engagement plan. Another question is, do all of our campuses have to create a pre-kindergarten family engagement plan? And the answer is no. For purposes of this high quality pre-kindergarten indicator, only one family engagement plan is needed for the LEA's overall pre-kindergarten program. Finally, let's review the student progress monitoring component for the required high quality pre-kindergarten program submission. This is where LEAs are required to use a tool from the commissioner's list to submit beginning of year and end of year raw assessment data from the five primary domains to ECDS. Progress monitoring data is required to be submitted for pre-kindergarten programs serving eligible four-year-old students. 
Per statute, the instrument used must be a commissioner approved tool and must be administered at the beginning of year, middle of year, and end of year for the required domains of health and wellness, language and communication, mathematics, emergent literacy reading, and emergent literacy writing. Please note that the middle of year required administration is a new requirement under the 19th Texas Administrative Code Section 102-1003-C1. This is effective of June 9, 2024. It is important to note that only beginning of year and end of year student data is submitted to ECDS, including raw scores for all required domains. Here are some progress monitoring differences for pre-kindergarten programs serving three-year-olds and four-year-olds. LEAs are not required to collect student progress data for three-year-old students. If an LEA conducts student progress monitoring with its eligible three-year-old students using an appropriate tool from the commissioner's list, please note that the beginning of year and end of year data should be submitted to ECDS annually. For mixed classes that have both three and four-year-old students, LEAs are still required to meet reporting requirements for four-year-old students. However, they can adjust or exclude for three-year-olds as needed. Here's some frequently asked questions regarding student progress monitoring. Question, a tool from the commissioner's list was not used. How do we submit data? The answer is that a tool from the commissioner's list is required to be used for student progress monitoring. Assessment data can only be submitted from the tools that are on the list. The Texas Education Agency Early Childhood Programs team will be contacting any LEA who did not use an approved tool to provide support in meeting the requirement for the following school year. If a required tool was not used, student data should still be submitted as well as data for other components for high quality pre-kindergarten programs. Question. Not all five domains were assessed at the beginning of year and or the end of the year. Do we still submit the data? The answer is that yes, any data should still be submitted. The TEA Early Childhood Programs team will be contacting LEAs who did not assess in all domains to provide support in meeting the requirement for the following school year. Now we're going to go over information regarding extensions for ECDS submissions. The TEA will review each LEA's progress before considering any extension requests submitted through TSDS for the ECDS submissions. Please note that extension requests will not be granted for any submission that is started within two weeks of the submission due date. This applies to the January 30th due date for kindergarten program data submission and the June 26th due date for pre-kindergarten program data submission. LEAs with a history of consistently requesting extension year after year may not receive further extensions. This process aims to support timely and high quality data submissions for public pre-kindergarten and kindergarten programs. As always, we want to support you through this submission. Because of this, here's some additional support opportunities. We are going to be offering an ECDS submission guidance webinar with vendor breakout rooms on November 14th, as well as November 20th. We will offer a specific ECDS kindergarten submission guidance webinar that is only specific to kindergarten program submissions on January the 9th, 2025, as well as January 14th. If you have any questions that come up, please use our ECE support portal to submit any policy and program related questions. If there are technical questions related to the ECDS submission, please submit a TSDS Incident Management System or TIMS ticket using a TEAL login. And that concludes our webinar. Thank you for your continued dedication and for supporting our youngest learners in the state of Texas. Please reach out to us if you need any support during this year's ECDS submission.